Hi Aries. This is going to be an extended general reading for you for February 2020. Let's see what's going on with you Aries. We have prosperity lies ahead and work through your fears. New moon in Taurus, new moon in Scorpio. Seems like you guys are on a new journey. Some of you are wanting to head towards, you know, more income. Maybe you have fears that are holding you back from getting to that place. You know, there's something holding you back from getting to where you want to be. We have you, sorry, your commitment is being tested. So I feel like, you know, the universe is asking you how much you want this. How committed are you to, you know, your, your goal, your plan? This could also speak of your commitment as in relationship. Okay, but this is general messages so we're talking about work love everything in one but it does look like there's something holding you back even though prosperity does lie ahead for you so let me see what's happening for you messages for aries February 2020. Oh. So, King of Pentacles, this is like the ultimate card for you if that's your energy right now all right currently some of you could be helping um, family or friends with certain things which could be getting in the way of your goals which would be like for some of you to make um, more money or to you know just become a little bit more successful going towards your dreams so having to help other people or other people relying on you could be getting in the way for some of you right now but i do see that with the with the king of pentacles you are definitely in the energy of business i'm sorry they're moving random things around upstairs i don't know what's going on yeah so five of cups you know this is some of you may be dealing with some losses okay some loss in your life at the moment could be making you frustrated some of you may feel like you're taking 10 steps back you know from from your goal but i feel like for a lot of you with the world here it's like uncontrollable it's things that you can't control like events that are happening in your life that you cannot control at the moment you kind of just have to roll with it it's like when there's world issues and stuff like that, you have to roll with what's going on. So this could be quite, quite frustrating for you being an Aries, you know, things getting in the way every time you want to go forward, something throws you 10 steps back. We have the Knight of Wands. So this is how you can fix it. With the Knight of Wands, this is like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you are a fire sign, which means you have, you know, what it takes. You definitely have to go forward, go through whatever is, whatever is thrown at you. Just go through it because the Knight of Wands is all about action. It's fast moving. It's aggressive as hell. So, you know, you have to really just get aggressive with you, with your plans, with your goals in february because i feel like the world is trying to knock you down at the moment and you do need to get that aries strength going 
you do need to destroy your fears okay and just get to where you're going all right so here we have the devil these are more leaning to love messages and this is codependency for some of you maybe you have someone who is quite codependent on you some of you could be in a toxic situation with somebody who is like quite toxic you know where you're just on and off there's games played there's maybe jealousy and possessiveness all that crazy stuff it seems like for a lot of you who are in a relationship there is that type of energy going on for some of you we have the eight of cups this is more towards how your person feels and they might be quite emotionally distant so some of you could be you know clinging to a love a loved a lover <laughs> your person right now because they seem to have become distant they seem to be drifting away all right but the king of cups here and you could be dealing with a, a Capricorn or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. You could be dealing with someone who's quite overly emotional and you might find yourself or you both balancing the emotions in the relationship. Okay. With the King of Cups, this does speak of someone coming towards you. So it does seem like they are coming towards you with this cup. But I do see it being quite toxic with that devil card. Let me see what we have. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I am seeing that... Some of you might be freeing yourself from the connection and then return and do it, you know. You might find yourself distancing yourself in February, but then they return with the cup. So then you reconnect because there's so much attraction, really attracted to each other. So it could be that or you're meeting someone new. But there is like walking away and coming back. There's this push and pull. There's this back and forth energy going on with your love life at the moment in February so there's that let me see what messages we have here energy healing your natural your natural healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. You might be able to heal. And let me just say what's coming to me right now. Usually when you do have this type of healing energy, you tend to attract toxic people. You know, so some of you are needing to free yourself from a toxic person who uses your healing energy to make themselves feel like they've healed and then they become distant talk about this all the time when you have that energy and you attract broken people they kind of feed off of your energy and then they start to feel whole and then they walk away because they think they think that the energy belongs to them and that they're good they have it all figured out only for the energy to kind of make its way back to you its rightful owner then they start to feel drained then they come back to you that's why a lot of people come back you know the energy is not theirs. They're looking for healing in the wrong places. So could be a toxic situation for some of you. These are the, the work oracle cards, the career cards, but somehow love got into it. We have family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So we do see this energy that you have you probably have a green aura, which would be heart chakra, which means you just basically radiate love, which would attract low energy people who desperately need that, you know? So look at this, what we have as well, healer. 
So you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Yes, you do, but what about when it's at your expense, you know, when you end up drained and upset and missing your person because they've left you and all of that. So I'm seeing a lot of healing and love energy with you, but it's like you have to be careful where you put it, who you give it to, you know, because some people just are broken and they don't know that they're broken and they just are looking for this energy. They don't really know they're looking for the energy because they don't really know much about it, but we know that, you know, they're looking for that. So be careful who you're giving your energy to. You might have to free yourself if you're with a toxic person who is draining the life out of you. Okay. So basically going for what you want. Currently, you might be having to give, 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 and it's taking you steps back um, in your career, you know, for your life plans but you really have to fight through it like the knight of wands you really have to just become well be the warrior that you already are and just go through it definitely get rid of the fears nothing should hold you back you only have one <laughs> you only have one chance but i was thinking you only have one shot do not miss your chance to blow that's what i'm hearing the eminem song um lose yourself don't lose yourself as well in this relationship where someone is draining you, okay? Really um, analyze the situation and see, how it, see what it's doing for you. Like, is it doing anything good for you? If not, then what are we doing here, all right? So, Aries, these were your general messages for February. This is just an extended of the reading that I already did for February, which you could check out the playlist for that if you haven't seen it. That's a full love reading as a lot of you know. So yes, check your moon, Venus and rising signs. If you want to know what else to expect, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for watching.